For people across the country got a break from jury duty. Courts weren't hearing cases during COVID. Juries were doing most things virtually, but that is slowly changing. You might be called to jury duty soon. Matt's, Matt Galka joins us live from Superior Court, where jury trials have resumed. We're kind of back in the queue, aren't we? Yeah, John, I mean, obviously, who doesn't love jury duty, right? Time to start checking our mailboxes again because those notices are going to start going out, but it's going to look a little different. Here's what you can expect if you get summoned. We're not quite there yet. Um, we have, since the 31st of August, held 92 different trials. Um, eight of those have been in civil and uh, 84 of them have been in criminal. So we're definitely ramping up. Jury duty. We all have to do it sometime. But while temporarily on hold during the pandemic, it's ramping up again. Although it looks a little bit different, it feels a little bit different because some of our courtrooms are not large enough to seat all of the jurors in the jury box. That's typically where jurors will sit for jury selection. At the Maricopa County Superior Court, they're making space, spreading jurors out, and separating them with plexiglass partitions. Non-jury proceedings are typically virtual. No, we're definitely not running full speed, and we're definitely not back to... Uh, normal. Attorney Russ Richelsoff says the new rules come with their own challenges when trying to present a case. Normally, we have the jury in a, you know, they're in the jury box and they're all together and, and you know, you can present things to the jury box. And with the jurors more spread out, um, you know, the presentation is, is definitely more spread out. COVID vaccines are not required for a juror, but COVID concerns will be considered. For those folks who are expressing a concern about serving, they can share that information with us, and we have a judge that reviews that information on a daily basis. Now, from an attorney standpoint, especially a criminal defense attorney standpoint, they would like to get things going because they say it's because of their clients, not the ones that are out on bail. But if you're sitting in a jail cell right now, yeah, you'd probably like to get your case heard. We're live tonight. Matt Gelka, Fox 10 News.